Assalamualaikum. Today, my friend and I will tell a story about Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Aladdin lived far, far away in the east. He lived with his mother and support her by selling fruits in the market. One day, the palace magician came to the market looking for him. Come with me, Aladdin. I have something to show you, he said. The magician's real motive is to persuade young Aladdin to retrieve a wonderful oil lamp from a booby trap magic cave. After the magician attempts to double-cross him, Aladdin finds himself trapped in the cave. Fortunately, Aladdin is still wearing a magic ring. The magician has lent him. When he rubs his hand in despair, he inadvertently rubs the ring and a genie appears who releases him from the cave so that he can return to his mother, fortunately still carrying the lamp. When his mother tries to clean the lamp so they can sell it to buy food for their supper, a second far more powerful genie appears who is bound to do the bidding of the person holding the lamp. With the aid of the genie of the lamp, Aladdin becomes rich and powerful and marries Princess Brabadul, the Sultan daughter. The genie builds Aladdin and his bride a wonderful palace, far more magnificent than the Sultan. Hi, my name is Muhammad Azlan and I want to continue reading story about Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. The magician hear of Aladdin's good fortune and returns. He gets his hand on the lamp by tricking Aladdin's wife by offerings to exchange new lamb for all. He ordered the genie of the lamb to take the place. Along with all its contents, when Aladdin returned home, he was shocked to see that everything has vanished. Aladdin searched far and wide for the princess. Finally, he heard that the magician was now living in the desert in his place with the Aladdin wife. Aladdin and his wife secretly slipped a sleeping pill into the magician's wine. As soon as the magician drifted up, off to sleep, Aladdin snatched the magic lamp from his belt and rubbed it. He ordered the genie to move the place back to where it was and leave the magician alone in the desert. Aladdin brought the magic lamp to the seashore and rubbed it. Aladdin said, You have granted so many of my wishes. I want to repay you by letting you free. Of all my many, many masters, not one has ever wished something for me. You are so kind. Genie cried. The genie got free and Aladdin tossed the empty magic lamp into the sea and lived out his day in happiness and love. Without envy or greedy, take the palace along with all its contents to his home in the Maghrib. Fortunately, Aladdin still has the magic ring and able to summon the laser genie. Hi Amar, what are you doing? Hi Aslan, I am reading a storybook about Aladdin and the magic lamp. Oh really? Is this story interesting? Oh yes, this book is really interesting. I love this story. Have you finished reading this book? Yes, 
I have done reading this book. Do you want to borrow it? I'm sure that you will enjoy reading this book. I would love to borrow it. I will give you back when I have reading this book. Okay, boy. Take your time. Since this book is interesting, I can finish reading this book in a day. Hey, have you finished reading the book? Yes, I have finished reading the book. Okay, now, can I ask you something? Yes, why not? Okay, since you have read this book, can you tell me about this story? Okay, sure. This story tells about the young boy Aladdin who is tricked by an evil wizard to go inside the cave that holds a great treasure and there is an old lamb that he needs to bring to him. He meets the slave of the lamb and his and becomes the most famous kid in town and marries the princess Jasmine. According to the story, I have told you what is the theme of this story. The overall theme of Aladdin is that infinite strength and wealth come from within and it is the best to be yourself because poor or rich you are, a diamond in the rough. Which character you like? And why Aslan? In this story, I like the character Jin and Princess Jasmine because he like to help people and granted all the wishes of his master. As for Princess Jasmine, I like her because she is very kind and she can accept Aladdin for who he is. Which character you don't like and why Amar? I don't like Jafar because he is bad and loves to trick people for his own sake like he tricks Aladdin to take the magic lamp for him. Based on this story, which part that you didn't like? I don't like the part which the castle was stolen and Princess Jasmine was kidnapped by Jafar. Aladdin had been scolded by Princess Jasmine's father. He tried to persuade Princess Jasmine's father to give him time to find the castle and Princess Jasmine back. For you, Amar, which part do you like and can share with me? Yes, I like the part that Aladdin turned to be rich young man in the village. However, he is still humble. He also able to gain the trust of the king to let him marry with his daughter. Do you know what is magic lamp? Yes, I know. The magic lamp is an oil lamp that can be rubbed in order to summon a um, jinn who grants wishes. Do you know what did Aladdin do with the magic lamp? The first wish that Aladdin asked for is to turn him to a rich young man. Second, his Aladdin wished to be a prince. And lastly, Aladdin asked to be a castle for him. Can you say with me what is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is, we must be ourselves. Do not try to be someone else or to conform to what others perceive us to be. Be who you are meant to be. From this story, we know that when we face a problem, we must bear in mind that, that we are greater than our situation. You must believe 
in yourself always, even more so when others doubt us and discourage us. Last but not least, we should not be greedy. From 1 to 10, can you read the story? Yes, of course. I give 10 over 10 for the story because I do not feel bored when I am reading it. Okay, thank you Amar for lending me your wonderful storybook. Most welcome.